How's it going there YouTube? This is Tio Fuego and I'm here for part one of my three-part installation video and it's like converting my Honda Rebel 500 to be able to handle a passenger. So first video is going to be replacing the stock seats even though I do have a little aftermarket cushion. Everybody knows the stock seat isn't the greatest on the Honda Rebel 500 so we are going to be upgrading it with a new dual passenger seat. Okay, so we're going to be installing the Motor Lord double dual seat replacement. I got it off of eBay. It was about $240. Uh, came shipped in, the box wrapped up in the bubble wrap. Let's take a look at it, see what comes when it's delivered. Okay, so here it is. The Motor Lord dual seats. A little closer for you guys here. You can see it looks like it has a lot of extra cushion. It's textured, which is very nice. Got the back. This has the Rebel stitching, which is kind of cool. I do like that. So, it doesn't come with any bolts or anything on there. So, this looks like it's going to be a just a one bolt thing. On the bottom here, we have the bolt will go through the top here, and it's going to slide into where the current seat is mounted with this little lip right in here. So, the next step is going to be getting the old seat removed off the bike, and then we'll get the new one put on. Okay, first thing we're going to do is remove the bolts from the top of the fender using a 6 millimeter Allen key. Now, full disclosure, I did already loosen and have these removed because I will show you in a second here I stripped very badly I don't know if you could see it or not uh, very badly one of these screws so needless to say I'm very happy that I only need one of them for the replacement of the seat so definitely use some care um, and a little bit of luck when you're removing these um, hex keys uh, hex nuts because I did strip more than one when I was uh, working on the bike. So definitely keep that in mind. So the next part we're going to be removing is the stock seat itself. And that is a 5 millimeter uh, Allen key. And the two bolts are actually located right on the back end of the seat. You just peel back on the, uh, on the seat itself. You can have access to them. Stick the key right in and loosen them up. Okay, so then all you need to do is lift and pull it back. It slides off from underneath the front. Stock seat removed. I've got my additional padding. No longer going to be needed. Let's put it in the new seat. All right, so we have the replacement seat. Now to mount it, we're going to slide in the lip on the front of the seat underneath the lip on the front holder here. And the back will push down and screw into this back. Uh, fender hole. Okay, now slides right in the front with no issues, just looking around, making sure there's nothing overhanging or overlapping before I tighten it down here. Um, it does sit up a little bit high, so obviously when I do tighten it down with the bolt again, it'll help shape it and mold it into place. And a quick look around, everything looks good. So let's get tightened up. Once again, get the six millimeter and the one nut I didn't strip, and let's get this put back on. All right, so there we have it, tightened up on the back. It looks fantastic. It really goes with the shape of the bike. It doesn't stand out. It's not overly bulky. It does stick out a little bit wider on the sides, but nothing really that bad. And I think it looks fantastic. I do like the Rebel stitching on the back. It matches very nicely with the Rebel sticker on the rear fender. I think this is a very good upgrade. Obviously, you can tell it's a quick 
changeover, nothing too complicated, as long as the nuts don't strip. So <laughs> keep that in mind. But that is the installation of a Motor Lord dual passenger and rider seats. Um, I do hope you liked the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, stay tuned for part two. Part two, I'm going to be installing um, the foot pegs that were not sold with the seat. Did have to get them separately. And then part three is going to be installing a backrest for the passenger seat. So keep a lookout for that as well. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Be well.